So let's go ahead and move on to topic number six, guys, to a franchise I love as well. Dealing with that bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? All right, I'm done. <laughs> topic number six from IndieWire. Martin Lawrence says, Bad Boys 4 isn't dead despite Will Smith slap. We got one more at least. This is good. 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 My, I, ho I hope Michael Bay will come back and direct this, but I doubt it. But again, let's see what this is saying. But before we do, if you're watching this video live on the replay, there is a link down to this in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure. Lawrence Echo, Sony chairman Tom Rothman, earlier statement that the fourth bad boys is still in the works despite Smith's outburst. Of course, that's to slap her around the world. Martin Lawrence has shut down any rumors that Will Smith's infamous Oscar slap has killed development on Bad Boys 4. The Bad Boys for Life star told Ebony that the fourth installment of the franchise originally held by Michael Bay is still moving ahead. We got one more at least, Lawrence hinted. Bad Boys premiered in April uh, 95 and grossed 141 million worldwide. The film spurred two sequels with Bad Boys 2, earning 273 million in 2003, and Bad Boys for Life grossing 426 million after releasing in January 2020. In the franchise, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence played detective partners and brothers Lieutenant Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett, respectively. It was big, Lawrence explained to Ebony on the first Bad Boys movie, for us to come together and prove that we can deliver and we can pull people into the box office. That black, that two black stars, two sitcom stars can make money at the box office was huge. Lawrence added, I didn't go to college, so I felt TV was my college years. I felt with movies I had graduated. It was just different. That's what's up right there. Uh, Sony chairman Tom Waffman had previously gave an update on Bad Boys 4, saying despite previous rumors, the film is still slated to star Smith and Lawrence and remain in development. The four films uh, was announced in 2020. Smith reportedly received 40 pages of Bad Boys 4 script ahead of the Oscars. Sony chairman Rothman refuted any claims that Smith's involvement in the sequel was put on hold. So he just like, look, y'all, I don't care what nobody say. We we had the green light the whole time. It's always been green. It ain't been red. It ain't been yellow. It ain't been orange. It has been green to go. And this is good. He said, I don't give a crap. He said, if anything, this slap is going to make us make more money at the box office. And he may be right. He, he may be. Because what if Bad Boys 4 is the first movie that Will Smith comes out with after the slap? And it's a success. You know what I mean? Even the people protest, don't go to the movie. I was trying to look for something to hold up, but I didn't have no props, so that sucks. But what if people were standing outside the movie? Don't buy tickets to Bad Boys 4. No. Buy Nemo. And it still was successful. And I wouldn't be surprised if somebody would do that. Like, get out of my face. But uh, he don't care. No, that was inaccurate, Rothman told Deadline. The movie's been in development, it still is. There weren't any brakes to pump because the car wasn't moving. As for Smith's viral Oscar outburst, uh, Rothman said, that was a very unfortunate thing that happened. <laughs> and I don't think it's really my place to comment, except, <laughs> uh, aka, I don't want all the smoke, uh, except to say that I've known Will Smith for many years and I know him to be a good person. That was an example for a very good person having a very bad moment. Yeah. In front of the world. I believe it's <laughs> man, this dude just needed to hold it together for five more minutes. I believe his apology and regret is genuine. And I believe in forgiveness and redemption already. Uh, King Richard, best actor winner Smith is banned from the attending the Oscar Academy Awards the next decade as a part of the disciplinary proceedings. I have forgot about that part. Uh, Original Bad Boys director Michael Bay previously weighed in on the controversy saying that Smith is not that guy. Bessel also slammed Sony for underestimating Bad Boys franchise that started in 95. Y'all, just on the, on the side note, that treated Michael Bay like crap doing Bad Boys 1 in 95 because ain't nobody know who he was. If you go and listen to the commentary, they were, they was he was trying to set up certain shots and the crew was like laughing at him on set like it's not going to work. This is stupid. And he was like, it's going to work, you know. And it was his first movie, and it ended up working. So they had to eat crow. But anyway, yeah, Sony didn't believe in the movie because two black actors don't sell overseas. Uh, we all heard that narrative. They had no faith in it. Bay explained earlier this year, Bad Boys literally changed the game on black actors. Ooh, 
it's the first movie that really tra uh, traveled overseas so that's dope right there so again guys if um that's the whole article right there but if you want to uh, uh read this at your own leisure uh you can there is uh, a link in the description box below um for you to um for you to do all of that finally a worthy opponent our battle will be legendary and before we move on to the next topic let me see what this fine person has to say about it coming to the stage you call i'm gonna clean you out again welcome i'm lando calrissian i'm the administrator of this facility wookies stand out in the crowd <laughs> Good to see you too, old buddy. We had each other. Hold on, Chewie. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It is Mr. Elliot with Movie Files, aka Lando Calrissian, saving us from the evil white supremacists in the galaxy far, far away. What's good, my brother? How you doing, man? What's going on, B? How we doing? We doing pretty good over here, man. We doing pretty good. Thank you for being here, man. I do appreciate it. And y'all, if you don't know, this is Elliot. All his information is in the description box of this video, as well as on my channel tab. <laughs> my brother, I'm on this uh, what, fifth or sixth topic, man, uh, about this bad boy. As far as still moving forward, did you have any doubts, or is this a, a surprise to you that the studio is still moving forward and has not slowed down at all? Yeah, I mean, money doesn't. I mean, some a man slap isn't going to stop them from getting money, man. It, it, of course, it was going to be put on pause for a little bit, just kind of let the heat cool. And, you know, I think once things we're at a point now where I'm not saying people have forgotten about the incident, but we're at a point now where I think we can kind of move past that. Uh, of course, it's going to probably be, a, you know, red talk. And when Will Smith finally gets imp imp implements himself back into social media, you know, he's going to address it then. And I think luckily after that point, we can kind of, you know, get his career back on. And I think, you know, Bad Boys 4, like I said, the money, I think you probably mentioned it, it made so much money. You can't make a part, I mean, you can not make a part four, but I think there's momentum and there's still a little bit of story to kind of tell within this, uh, you know, our, our two favorite characters that we grew up with since the 90s. So uh, it's no surprise to me. Right on, right on, right on. Yeah, no surprise to either one of us, man. And, um, you know, I, I respect the... Where Michael Bay and Tim Tom Rothman is it Tim or Tom Rothman? Tom Rothman, you know, just like hey, we we good, we we riding with our stars, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So together, people, people yeah, together. people make mistakes, and so yep. I, I I love that, I love that. Um, now nah, Bad Boys Three was bad. It came out in January. Good movies don't come out in January. That I don't, you know, I think that rumor has kind of washed away. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, it used to be the toilet ball season, but uh, yeah. I think we've gotten uh, some pretty decent ones in the past couple of years and you know yep. pandemic mixed up mixed up some things you know what i'm saying and it's a great um, place for studios to draw films because people don't normally go to the show there's not big movies out there at that time so it's a good strategic uh marketing plan too as far as those early movie release dates right on right on right on let me see if anybody else is saying anything okay well again guys uh that our article is in the description box below for you to read at your own leisure and uh please let us know in the comment section again whether you're watching this via live on the replay uh because we are dying to know your opinion you know and it, it, i mean are you still a uh um a will smith supporter you know i know some people perfect not professionally personally that have cut him off mm -hmm. they're like brent i'm not watching any more will smith uh movies i'm he's you know i'm upset you know yeah i'm like wow but yeah some good. people people cancel he so. smacked them too i guess you know he's <laughs> respect out of them i guess so yeah. right on right what on happens, so yeah man? let us all know that stuff right there but uh, let's move on to the seventh topic of the day.